Hey guys, Drifter here. Uh, this is Resistance 3 gameplay, but it's not my gameplay. I didn't buy a PlayStation 3. Today I'm doing a dual commentary with Owned by a Tomato. What's up, guys? I want to first and foremost thank you, Drifter, for for letting me be on your channel. It, uh, it really means a lot. Aw, uh, dude, don't worry about it. My channel is... Uh, a lot of lots of people get on my channel. Uh, lots of lots of other guys. Uh, since my channel's male, my channel's more like a man slut. Picks up all the guys in the community, and they all drop their videos here and their dumpings. Anyway, we're, we're getting off topic. What is, <laughs> what is this crazy fucking gun that you're using? This is actually the kind of ripped off version of Call of Duty's kill streak rewards. You, you don't get to interchange them, but this one is a six kill streak and. It's really, really powerful for a six kill streak. You can shoot through walls. It outlines the enemy's bodies, and you just shoot through the wall, and they're they're basically screwed. So I guess you could say this would be kind of like getting a death machine in Black Ops, except like a way more badass one. Right, and and this one, this is like a intense, unreloadable noob tube, kind of like on God Mode. Whenever you run into those hacked lobbies where you just whip out a noob tube, and you're just like blasting people this is basically what it is dude all the hacked lobbies i run into is like call of duty 4 they want you to come join some gay little hacking clan or uh they set the speed up to over 9,000, so you're like on ice skates and stuff <laughs> yeah i i ran into that real bad on on mono warfare 2 I, I don't i don't find that it's really that bad on cod 4 for playstation or at least last time i checked out uh that game it might be completely different now xbox and pc and stuff can get kind of hacked but games like this make me wish that I, that I had a PlayStation 3 not quite enough to drop the you know, 4 or 500 dollars or whatever it takes but Resistance was always a fun game for me so was Metal Gear Solid and, and a couple other the, of the exclusives but it's kind of sad that all the big games come out on both systems now cuz it kind of they have to play to the minimum specs of both systems so you get a lesser game because of that right and i i'm actually kind of disappointed how 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 is it that you don't have a PlayStation well, you know, I got an Xbox when it first came out, and all my friends did, and we were we were pretty broke, high school, college level stuff, so we didn't it would just go drop it on consoles, and then you know, one person's their theirs would break, so that you know they'd get an Xbox again, so they hop back in and play, and mine would break, so I could get back on and play with my friends. I never really got around to playing with a PlayStation Three because none of my friends were on it, and uh, I didn't I don't really watch Blu-rays and a lot of stuff and all the big games come out on both consoles so I'm not missing a lot by only having an Xbox unfortunately. And the only thing I'm missing is like I said Resistance, Metal Gear, maybe a uh, little Big Planet, but then we have Gears and some other stuff and you know what my my motion tracking system, my uh, Kinect thing, it doesn't look like a big purple dildo on like the PlayStation Move or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and they they tried to play that off saying that you need buttons to play a motion game. Blood. I I completely <laughs> completely disagree. Uh, I'm glad you do. Yeah, the the PlayStation Move was a a disappointment to me, to say the least. The Connect is kind of disappointing too. I don't know. There's not very many fun Connect games. The uh, they had that crazy one come out recently. It's like some mad zombie survival thing. Like shoot 'em up, hack and slice. It's like your hands are axes and shit. That's kind of cool. <laughs> but other than that, it's like basically like Mario Kart or a Wii Fitness stuff and. It's not really complicated. It's made for dummies where you just can't possibly lose no matter what you do. Although the, the, the yeah. controlling the menus and stuff with your hands is kind of neat. Yeah, that's that's really the only problem I see with a lot of the motion systems. They they use cheap little gimmicks that work for basically a full game if you want it to be kind of half-hearted. But I don't I don't think they have developers that are working to make intense skill-related, really smooth games like. Any kind of shooter, I I don't know of any shooter that works well on. Wait, well, I'm gonna disagree with you there because I played the PlayStation 3 a bit when it first came out, and you had the original Uncharted and the original uh, what's this Resistance. And I remember in Uncharted, I think I'm hoping it was Uncharted. Help, I'm not talking out of my ass. When you'd make a uh, Drake walk across a little log or something, since the PlayStation 3 controller had some degree of motion sensing in it, you had to balance by moving the controller. And in Resistance 1, somebody would shoot you with uh, something, and it would like tag you, and all the bullets would chase you, and to, you know, throw the to like pull the tag off. You'd have to take your controller and shake it like super freaking hard. And I remember watching my friends like trying to run and shoot, and they're shaking their controller like Michael J. Fox, just trying to get that shit off. Right. I mean, the the actual PlayStation Three remote it has some pretty good motion detectability, but as far as like a full remote, I I don't I don't see that. Another game kind of like that 
the motion sensing for the controllers is Heavy Rain, I think it was called. I think it was a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, yeah, but... it was. That was the game that you watched so much. It was like it was like watch it was like playing a movie, sort of. Right. And I, I remember one time uh, it got so intense and you're you were driving in this rain trying to Whoa. save your daughter or something. What was that? What was that? Your teammate is a ghost. Is that Emperor Palpatine? What was going on on the sides of your screen there? No, that's actually a perk in this game. It's called Doppelganger. And each time you spawn, you can use a perk for a limited amount of time. And then if you stay long, uh, alive long enough, you can reuse it. But essentially, it's just a little clone that runs beside you. And I, I used it ineffectively to have him just face planting into the wall. Okay, so that's kind of like the uh, holograms in good old uh, Halo Reach. <laughs> right, which uh, I, I was not ready for. I, I had just switched over to Xbox, and I picked up Halo Reach, and I was, I was so excited because I was going to be so elite pro sniping people in the MLG lobbies, and <laughs> I, I, I ran into a doppelganger, and I just unloaded like three clips into him and was just wondering why he wasn't going to die. I think he just unloaded on their whole fucking team right there with a shotgun. Did we, did we get to the point of, of doing this dual commentary yet? Like, what this series was? I can't even remember. <laughs> did we talk about that? We were just talking about, like, no, dildos yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we did. Any, uh, if we didn't, this is a beginner's gun guide. I'm basically just covering the basic guns in the game and how you're, how, how you're going to get in, jump off, and what guns you're going to have at your at your access or you're just... Wow, your, disposal. Your That's the word disposal, you're looking for. Yes, and uh, right? you're doing you're doing more in depthy kind of stuff later because I mean, right? I mean, I, I'm not mistaken on this, right? Like you're doing more right. uh, resistant strategies and PlayStation kind of stuff with your Sony Uber Eliteness and Blu-ray <laughs> player and stuff like that. Right. I, I'm I'm playing my Blu-ray disc of Resistance and stuff like that, and I'm I am getting more in, in, advanced in it. This was just basic as you jump in, what you can do and how you can do it. All right. Well, it's been fun having you on my channel. Uh, guys that ask me if, you know, if I'm going to do an in-depth on all of these PlayStation exclusive games, even though I say I don't have a PlayStation until the end of fucking time, maybe you should go and check out Owned by a Tomato's channel and check out some of his in-depth style uh, multiplayer guides for Resistance and other games. Uh, Drifter out. Thank you very much, guys.